Hey, this is Danny Jones, and uh, some people have been following my work, and I just wanted to give a quick uh, video update on the uh, aluminum box coder that I've been working on. And uh, it's in mid construction. I've still got a lot of work to do left on, on it. Uh, I'm just kind of getting the, the outer rough uh, rough box and, and the outer things done. I've still got to put on all the gauges and all the other stuff that goes with it. But I just want to get a, a quick update on, on where I'm at on that uh, for those that have been following. But this is uh, this is the coder. And uh, down here uh, below the coder is the plumbing. You can see the one of the back pumps. There's going to be another one and the diffusion pump and plumbing and stuff. And I've showed that in another video um, before I changed the style of the coder. And uh, I'll shoot some more details on that again. Uh, whenever we, we, we get things uh, finished up and and uh, do some successful pump tests. But uh, this video is for the update on, on the coder itself. <clears throat> and uh, the first thing you're going to notice, it's a uh, it's pretty good size. It's a uh, you know, two foot square box. It's uh, a little over six inches deep. And, and uh, there's some big slides. There's some slides on the top, slides on the bottom. And... Uh, and that's what that is. So, so where I'm at on the construction, um, this is where the viewport's going to go. Um, <clears throat> here in the next day or two, I'm going to have the welding shop uh, make the the body of the viewport, and, and that's a little hard to explain. You'll you'll notice that you'll get a better picture of that when I ever get done with that. But I wanted to be able to see what's going on inside the the chamber during the the pull of the vacuum when it gets down so low that we can see some things happening and hopefully see the see the aluminum uh, being evaporated that'd be pretty awesome but we'll at least get some pictures anyway if we can't get a video but that's where that is. that's what that's for that's the the viewport and uh, the whole thing is on these big heavy duty slides slides on a couple slides on the top couple slides on the bottom and over here is the, is the door of it and I just painted that door so I left that little spot right there so when I open it I don't get my fingers all yellow but it's on these big slides and and, and, and it just slides open so there it is the door the door slid open <clears throat> and uh, it just tinges over very easily one finger will uh, Hinge that door over. <clears throat> so the door slides away from the chamber. It pivots over, and on on here, I'm going to have a series of uh, um, uh, nuts and bolts on the door in, in different locations. And and uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll screw some bolts into the nuts that are on the door, and that'll support a mirror to go on the door. So the mirror that's to be uh, aluminized gets mounted on the door right there. So the door slides open from the chamber, it pivots over, and we mount the optic up there on the door. Now, inside, uh, we got some different things going on. Um, here you're going to see some uh, some cardboard. Right there, get a good shot of that. <clears throat> well, on this cardboard, like I said, I'm in mid-construction, so I've got a lot of work to do. Um, all the gauges and all that thing has got to still be installed. But uh, you'll, you'll see some dots around the perimeter of that. This big circle's got dots at various per, you know at uh, various measurements around there, and then this piece of white cardboard here also has some dots. Kind of hard to see those dots there. Well, all those little dots, and these are templates, and uh, each dot has been measured. It's pretty precise, actually even though it looks like crap, but it's been actually pretty precise. They're exact distance away from each other. You know, those dots are all the same distance from each other. These dots are at the same distance from the ones in the center, and the center dots are distance at the same distance around the perimeter and a uh, dot in the center. And what that's for, those dots, is uh, where a, a filament is going to be placed. When I, play, when I get the filament system installed, a filament is going to be placed there, and that's going to be what holds the... Uh, aluminum that's to be evaporated and uh, <clears throat> I have a program that uh, allows told me to where to place all these filaments to get the, to the maximum 
aluminum evaporation so I can coat any size mirror in there I want to up to probably about 22 inches or so I guess so and that's what's going on there so I'll be working on the filament system pretty soon and and that's those are the templates for it now <clears throat> inside the chamber you can uh, you, here you can see all the welds the very nice welds the welding shop did they guaranteed that not to leak or I could take it back and they could fix them free pretty nice guys over there and uh, down in the bottom of the chamber you see this hole and this hole is where all the air is going to exit out of the out of the vacuum chamber and uh, down here in the hole you can uh, see another hole of some kind there well that's the the, the big vacuum rated gate valve uh, that leads to the diffusion pump and all the plumbing and such so and that's where all the air exits out there <clears throat> So, I'm in uh, mid-construction on this, and uh, we've got a lot of work to do, but uh, the, the body of the chamber is almost done. I've just got the viewport to get installed on there, and the welding shop's going to be helping me out with that. Uh, the whole thing sits on a bunch of slides right there, heavy-duty slides, and it uh, sits on the, on the base plate, and this uh, little area that you see right here is it will be sealed uh, down to this base plate and the whole thing everything all the steel that you see here is made out of half inch thick steel so it's a uh, really really thick stuff and uh, <clears throat> around the door so the, the the door just pivots back over like that we, we, we just slide the door shut and uh, around the inside this here there's a big heavy duty vacuum rated seal that's going to go around that so that so that the door gets sealed and once the vacuum's initiated you know we won't we won't have to have to worry about that it, it fits perfectly so so it'll uh, it'll seal up very nicely and the same type of seal is going to be going to be going to be put under this this part here that seals it seals it down to the base plate so uh, that's that's kind of where I'm at on mid construction on that. Like I said, I've got a lot of work to do. I've still got to put all the uh, ionization gauges and thermocouple gauges and all that kind of thing, and uh, plenty of work to do on that. Uh, but uh, I wanted to give a quick update on that. So thanks for watching.